Hi everyone and welcome to my knitting journal. My name is Chelsea and this is episode number 23. Um, I am just going to share some finished objects and some also some of my new stash that I have gotten so far this summer. So I a little bit about myself. I'm um, in my 30s. I have two kids. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have a six-year-old and a three-year-old and I um, have been knitting for probably like over if I'm 30, almost 32, I've been knitting probably um, over 12 years, maybe like 13 years, and I really have started um, knitting a lot of more garments lately, so that's really put me in a place where I'm buying a lot more indie dyed yarn and following more people on Ravelry and or so, all sorts of stuff, so I'm just having fun and this is just my way of recording and keeping track of all the projects I am finishing. So first up today, I'm wearing my finished object. This is my So Faded Sweater um, by Andrew Mowry, and I bought this yarn a year ago at Fiber Space, right outside of DC. Um, it's all Hedgehog Fibers singles, and I don't have all the color names. I just feel like it's taken me a long time to finish this sweater. But I probably will post a picture and I can link some colors. I haven't taken any actual pictures, so I haven't put this on my Ravelry page yet as finished. But um, it's actually, so it's the month of July, almost August. And so I have not been wearing my like almost long sleeve sweater. But um, it was really fun to make and easy. I really do like how the, I mean, it's kind of like gartered stitched on the shoulders. And it was fun to fade. So I started with like a dark bluish purple and then I went to a purple brown and then this bright orange brown and then to like a hot pink and then ended over really light pink and blues. I didn't do the pink and blue on my sleeves. I wanted my sleeves a little bit shorter because the last time I made sweater a sweater, my sleeves just felt too long. Um, so I just ended with a pink. I don't know how great the sizing really is, but I think it looks good. It looks like a sweater. Maybe it looks like a handmade sweater, but I'm okay. And I feel like maybe it was a little bit wide this way, so I don't know if I should have done the size smaller or if my gauge was a little bit more off than I thought. I thought I was mostly on gauge. Um, and I don't know how I'll actually style this. I just threw it on over what I was wearing. I think it would look cute with like a button-up shirt and sticking out. Um, but yeah, my so faded. So I'll leave this on. I don't know if I'll make it through the whole podcast wearing this long sleeve sweater, but I might try. So that is my only finished object I have to show. And I will show you my other two. I'm just looking at what I have. I'll show you my other two whips. So I bought a bunch of yarn, um, in a Gemma Darling's D stash a little while ago. And this was some barnyard, barnyard knits yarn I got. And this is my Tegna, so you can see the lace. Um, I'm actually really close. I'm just working on most of the body, if you can believe it, is done, and I'm working on the sleeves. This is how much yarn I have left. And so I still have to finish like this part and then the sleeves. I'm really hoping I can make it. So once I finish like the whole body of the sweater, I will divide it in two. Um, this ball into two and that's how big my sleeves will be so I'm hoping I can make a whole sweater off of just two skeins of yards if you've made one of these sweaters this is the Tegna by Caitlin or Tegna Tegna by Caitlin Hunter let me know how many skeins of yarn you use I've tried looking around the project pages but I feel like unless you're doing a test knit people don't add all those details really and I don't blame them um, but I'm kind of worried that I won't finish and so yes so look how it's so nice and small it fits right in this thing and I think I'm knitting on size threes um, for that my other whip I started the summer straw knit along that fuse fiber studios is doing and it's a brioche so I'm doing the shusui shawl so this is the back so it's all brioche I did miss one increase on here, but I'm hoping, see it right there, it's missing. 
I'm hoping it'll be okay. I just got to the point in the pattern where you're dividing for sleeves. Um, I'll show you my yarn. I'm using this one. This is called Unicorn Hearts, and this is um, Knitted Wit. And then this one is, is Knitted Wit too. Wild Orchid. So if you see my two colors. And this one is a long, I mean, <laughs> I've worked on this part for a long time. And but I'm really happy though. I've like I was kind of worried it was looking really weird when I started. But I'm really happy with my brioche skills. So this is like the, the right side, and then this is like the inside. But with brioche, like they both could kind of be the right side, so it's kind of fun. So yeah, that's my other whip. I'm hoping I like my color choices that I chose. I feel like I was looking at other people's um, shisui shawls, and I'm like. I don't know if I chose the right color yarn, but I think it will be fun. So oh, I'm going to keep going with that too. That would be a fun thing to wear this fall. Um, maybe not fall colors, but it'll be fun. So like I said, that she is doing a knit along. Um, she used Fiber Studio for um, a Suzanne Summer Knits. For like a, summer, a, summer, a Summer Shrug. So Suzanne has another one with like a hood that's kind of like a shrug, like a cardigan, open cardigan. And so you just had a hashtag summer shrug um, knit along, K-A-L, and she, sorry, I told my kids to give me a couple minutes, and she entered you in a giveaway, and so I won. I won her first one. So I got some of her yarn, so you can see Fuse Fiber Studios, and I got two skeins of her fingering weight yarn. It is 80% superwash merino and 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. Um, and it is, this colorway is called Cake Batter. Um, I actually think this would be really pretty in Caitlin Hunter's newest pattern, which is called, it's kind of like the Tegna, but it's called, hold on, I have to add it to my queue. I can't think of what it's called. The Maritimo? Maritimo? I don't know. Um, looking for the new one by Caitlin Hunter. It looks like the Tegna and it has the short sleeves and then it has like um, different color lace with it within. It's not just all one color sweater. But I think this would look nice as the background color. So I might be considering that, saving these for that. And then I got a candle, which I'm sorry I did not, I have it like downstairs in my kitchen where I like to light a candle in the morning when I'm cleaning up the house. Um, and then I got this really cute little bag with a sloths on it. And this bag is by Birch Grove. That's so cute. And it's probably good for like a hat. It's a smaller bag. Or if you're just starting a shawl and it's only, you only have one skein. Let's see, like I can fit, I could fit like two skeins. Just barely. But yes, I really am loving this little bag. I don't have a lot of project bags yet because I spend all my money on yarn. And so anyway, so it's fun to have a new project bag. It was fun to win too because it wasn't one I had like enter and tag your friends. It just, she just chose from the people who were doing the knit along. And since I had hashtagged it a couple times, I was in the winning or in the running. Um, now I just have a bunch of yarn to show you. I did, I follow Woolberry Fiber Co. on Instagram, and I never bought any of your yarn before, but she was doing like a fundraise yarn, I can't remember which, oh, it's called Together is Better, for all the, to raise money for the children who were, um, you know, without their parents at the border, and so this is like a sock kit, sock, sock kit that she made together is better so I don't actually know what the colors are it says it's really nice green and then this like pinky pink a little bit of orange and I don't knit socks and I I'm really like wanting to do sweaters this year um, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna get into socks or if I ever will and that's okay but I thought this would be pretty as a tiny tassel little shawl um, have you guys seen that pattern on Ravelry? It's just called Tiny Tassels, and it's a little handkerchief, and then you make little tiny pom-poms. So I thought these colors, you know, they would make a, make a pretty sock, so I thought they might make a pretty 
tiny tassel scarf. So I'm going to probably save that. Um, and this might be for like a Christmas present or maybe just for myself this year. And I did buy some more of her yarn. So this is her Berry DK and this is the colorway's Acid Wash Jeans. So it's like a cream of blues, speckles, and then like some pinky red. Well, actually this one has a lot of colors. So it's kind of fun. It's a pretty neutral. So I got enough. I got a sweater's weight in this one. And hibiscus decay. So I'll show you. Woolberry, berry decay, acid wash jeans. It's a hundred percent um, superwash merino. Twenty three, two hundred and thirty one yards. And I'm gonna make. At least I. I'm thinking I'm gonna make the portage cardigan. Portage by Melissa Strasswary, Melissa. Anyway, so I think that's what this will be. A nice, like, it'll be light, but um, hopefully I can keep it nice looking, a light colored cardigan. Who knows, that is not like priority number one on my next project. Um, what else do I wanna show you? I'll say that one for last. I did go to this really cute, I was at my aunt's house in Massachusetts and I went to the Franklin Mill store. If you've ever been there, it's really cute. I'll show you what I got. I got this. I've seen these before a couple times. It's an embroidery kit by Cozy Blue. And so I got one of a whale. I'm not sure why I chose a whale. I just thought with all the other choices, this was one of my favorite ones. And it comes with like the whole like hoop, wooden hoop. So like after you make it, you can put it in like hang it with the hoop and so it's like pre-printed on the fabric and then I stitch over it so it should be pretty simple I don't know something different and then I did not they have yarn at the store but I did not buy any yarn I've been sewing my daughter a quilt maybe I'll post a picture at some point or show you in here so I bought two more fabrics this one I thought so the her quilt has cat head silhouettes on it so this is like a bunch of tuna fish jars. And then I just like this one. And I just realized it has like I don't know what that's supposed to be. Like in the flowers, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a little a little mouse. Do you see that right there? So I'm piecing to back, um, I just like scraps of fabric for her, the back of her quilt right now. I have the top all done. Um, so I'm working on piecing the back together. And then I got a sewing dress or sewing pattern. I'm going to make her this one right here. It is called Sweet and Sassy. So I'm going to make her that dress. And let me show you. This is why I'm really showing you. Look how cute that is. The sheep. So that will be the middle of her dress, the sheep, and then this hot pink will be where the blue is. Okay, I got cut off, so hopefully I can piece this together. So this will be the two, um, so the sheep in the middle and then with this hot pink. So she chose the pink and I was like, okay, if I get the pink, or if you get the pink, can I get the sheep? And she said yes. So I'm hoping she will wear this dress. Um, so just something different other than knitting. Is my number one love. Sewing is fun for me, but it's not as nearly as relaxing as knitting is. Um, it's not, and I don't think it ever will be. But I do like the finished product. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, this last week, I was in New York City, and I was with my husband, and we went out to dinner, and then we had tickets to go see a little like off Broadway off Broadway show. And um, we had like 30 minutes to kill, so I Googled just like a yarn store, and it was a Thursday, but it was kind of getting late in the evening. But we were like five, six minutes away from Lion Brand Yarn Studio. So we went there. I will say it was pretty cool, and I got to see the huge London K yarn bomb she has out right now of a giant 
lion on it. If you check my Instagram, I should have said in the beginning, my Instagram is with, knit with Chelsea, knit with Chelsea. Um, just those three words all together. That is my Ravelry username too. I did post some pictures though of it and I found this really fun. I didn't really want to buy sweaters weight of anything. I didn't have any projects in mind. I just mostly wanted to see the studio, but I did find this fun yarn. It is silk chiffon ribbon. I got two, a blue and a magenta of some like crazy yellow and green. And it's 100% silk and it's like ribbon. And I found this like cowl pattern and it's just like a really simple stockinette cowl that you knit in around. So I'm gonna wind these up and this will probably be my like um, purse knitting project for a while that I just take out when I wanna knit on something for a little bit. So yeah, so I'll show you what I make. I don't know, I have to look up and see what size needles. So I have like a finished object, which is nice. I love, um, especially weird yarn. No, that is so weird, but like, sorry. Well, yarn is a little bit different like that. The silk, it's nice to see like, what the heck was someone made out of that? Um, I showed this yarn, at least I think I did. I bought this in a D-stash. It's just a hot pink. And this will be one of my colors in my Tecumseh. This is plucky and the colorway is One Hit Wonder. And so then I got this brown in a D stash, and this is, oh, it does have a label on it, I can tell you. This is um, a Miss Babs, and it's a giant skein of Super Ash Marina wool in um, 560 yards. So it's this really pretty brown, kind of like a camel, and I'm going to pair it with this hot pink, and then I'll show you my last color for my Pacenta. So this is my first purchase from Asylum Fibers, and this is her special colorway. Can you guys read that? Um, oh, hers really smells like vinegar. Sometimes I don't smell the vinegar on yarn, and other times I really do. Um, so it's, if I want exposure, I'll get my tits out. Call me crazy. So do you, have you guys seen that on all the Indie Dyers are dyeing these um, crazy colorways? It's like pink with purple and orange. But I saw, when I saw her colorway, and I liked the charity, I can't remember exactly what her charity was called, but it was for, I think, um, women in abusive, helping them get into shelters. It was something along that lines. I can't remember. But she did, I think, make a lot of, I ordered it on like a pre-order, and it came pretty fast. So I was happy to help donate, and, um, but also to get some another fun color. So this will be my Tecumseh sweater. What do you guys think? I think it will be fun. So I got four of these um, things. So I have two more. So that my other two. Oops, maybe that will fit in there. My other two, I'm gonna use to make um, the Karu. Guys, I like butcher all these sweater powder names. The Karu by Brandy Velton. She is the dyer behind Long Dog Yarns, and I did a test knit for her, my Bre Blooming Brioche shawl, which I actually love her yarn, Long Dog Yarn. Her yarn was so nice. Um, and since I did her test knit, she gave, gifted me like a free pattern. So she has this like really simple sweater, and you only need two colors. So I got this crazy yarn by um, Asylum Fibers. This is, is her Silver Goose base, so it has um, Silver Melina in it, or Stellina, sorry. And this is her Sleepless colorway, so it looks brighter on my camera, but it's like a dark navy. But I thought it would actually kind of pair in a fun way with this color, because like the dark purple kind of, um, I think goes together. So, so I have like a crazy amount of yarn right now in my life, just stashed away. And I do feel very good that it's all like for a project. You know, I have all these sweaters. Like if I go on my Ravelry page, my queue, I probably have Mom, yarn I for... Have no potty. Okay. I'm up here. Okay. Sorry, my daughter. I have yarn probably for over 20 things. And if you've been watching my videos, I really do try to keep my queue small because I feel like if I have something in my queue and I go to a yarn store, then I'm like, well, I can buy this because it's on my queue. 
I know that's all, it's crazy, but I'm like, I want to make it. I'll buy a sweater suite of yarn. Oh, and I did get more yarn that I have. I got yarn when I was in Pittsburgh and I forgot to grab it out of my closet because I have so much new yarn I can't stop buying. But really, I'm putting a promise out to here. I'm not going to buy any more yarn. Um, I got yarn. I just got Malabrigo at a new yarn store that I went to in Pittsburgh. I can't tell you. I'll show you in my next video. Unless I'm knitting with that yarn. Um, I'm going to make the Bohem Bohemia Cardi. It's just like her Bohemia Cardi. It has like a like speckled yarn and I got a nice like variegated. I wouldn't say it's speckled. It's more like tonal color. Um, like a dark purple. So that's what I'm going to make of that. I'll show you that yarn hopefully before I cast on. So um, just talking about my cue and what's next up. I... We'll see how far I get with my Tegna. That might, I'm kind of, I got to the shoulder part of that sweater and I'm kind of just, I was also doing it in the car and it was kind of stressing me out and I was like, oh, I just want to put this down. So I haven't touched it since that car ride to Pittsburgh and who knows exactly when I will start knitting on it again. Um, I think next up, I do want to keep working on my Shisui Shrug. That knit along is going to the 15th of August. So I'll probably keep working it until then or longer. Maybe I'll finish it. Um, and today is July 30th, so we'll see if I can finish it in 15, 16 days. Probably not. It's a really long brioche. It takes a long time because you knit everything two times. Um, but I, next up, I really want to do my comfort fade cardi. I bought yarn from Autumn and Indigo, and I really want to have that knit to wear at least by December is my goal. So, and... Casting on new whips, I will probably will slowly do that here and there, but I think I'm really focusing on finishing up some whips that I have stashed away. Um, anyway, let me know. Let me know what you're working on, what new yarn you bought, if you bought in from a new brand like Asylum Fibers, or if you've bought an indie any, um, fused fiber, or if you've gotten any woolberry. Um, I'm just enjoying buying new yarn and seeing what their bases feel like. I really like this base by Fuse Fiber. I'm sorry. Ugh. Anyway, so let me know what you're knitting. Hopefully you're finding some time this summer to knit. If you're home with kids, I've been telling one of my friends who, I didn't teach her how to knit, but we do have knit nights together. And she likes to knit, and she finally started a project for herself, but she hasn't gotten very far on it. But I told her, it's like, you have to learn how to knit when your kids are around. You just knit while they're doing stuff. Um, anyway, I guess it takes time, but it is definitely a huge part of my life and I love doing it and I love talking about it. So for anyone watching, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll have another video at some point.